Hello again, it's Dr. Denton, and if you haven't been to our channel before, this is my YouTube channel for Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear, my practice in downtown Salisbury, North Carolina. So I bring you um, all kinds of information about eyes and about eye fashion. So on this channel, you are gonna see anything from medical eye care information, including like dry eye, quick eye tips for you to make computer use more comfortable, that sort of thing. But you also might find fashion videos and sort of the fun side of optometry, um, the frames and the lenses and kind of all the information about that. So there's a lot to watch here and I hope you enjoy it. If you get a chance, go ahead, like us, subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're familiar with optometry and optometrists, you might know that we're the folks you see to get new glasses, new contacts, to make sure that you're seeing really well. But you might not also realize that we also do routine eye care, comprehensive eye care. We can look at the eye from front to back and we can actually do a lot of medical disease management in your eyes as well. I personally trained at the Baskin Palmer Eye Institute. I did a one year ocular disease residency there. And so one of my main areas of focus is ocular disease. And above all, I love treating folks with dry eyes. So if you're not familiar, um, dry eyes are when your tears are disrupted. There are a lot of reasons why this can occur, but dry eyes gen generally result and your eyes feeling very uncomfortable, sticky, burning, we hear redness, we hear watering. There's lots of symptoms that you could feel when your eyes are actually dry. So I always like to say when your eyes are dry, you have to think about it like the ocular surface is just not being bathed in tears like it should. So your ocular surface, the front surface of the eye, in order for you to see clearly and comfortably, you've gotta have a layer of tears over it at all times. Now there's three basic layers to the tears. You have a sticky layer, the mucin layer, and then you have an aqueous layer, that's gonna be your watery layer, and then you have an oily layer that coats the top layer of the tears. If anything's wrong with any of those three layers, you can have dryness to your eyes, resulting in those clinical symptoms that you feel like that, you know, irritated, feels like something's in the eye, that sort of feeling. So I have something really cool to show to you today. This is kind of like an unboxing, and I'm also gonna show you clinically how this works. But this is for a new device called the tear care. Not sure if you can really see that. This is the new device. One of the treatments I have traditionally prescribed if your oil glands are clogged up, now the oil glands are my Bohmian glands, those are what produce that top layer of oil that protects your tears. So what I've traditionally done in clinic is prescribe warm compresses, and a patient will have to do a warm compress every single night for 10 to 15 minutes, followed by lid massage to kind of get the glands moving and get the oil moving again. So there's got to be a better way because warm compresses are super time consuming. You have to do them every night consistently for them to work well, and a lot of people just can't fit that into their schedule. So there's a company called Sight Sciences that has come out with a new piece of equipment to help treat the meibomian glands. So I've been asked to be one of 60 practices in the United States trialing out um, the tear care product. This has been already approved and everything. This, the company has done their own trials, but now they're having real practitioners like myself use it in our offices and get patient feedback and also give our feedback. So this is such a cool concept. The idea is that instead of doing a warm compress every single night and having to remain consistent with it, with this treatment in the office, your meibomian glands, those lid glands that get clogged, are all cleared out. And so that greatly reduces dry eye symptoms 
um, for a period of five to seven months. So I kind of want to show you the device itself because it's very low profile. So I've got the box right here. And right here is the charging base. This is the device itself. Now I'm from the north, this is like a little hockey puck, and I swear that's about how big it is. It fits in the palm of your hand. This is what's actually applying the heat to the patient's eyelids. It goes right here in the dock when it's charging, and this will hold enough charge to do about 10 patients' treatments. So you really aren't gonna have to charge it very often. So you're gonna use, when we use this, we are using these little sensors right here. So you're gonna see these when we do this on Rachel, but these little devices have an electrode type thing that goes on the top lid and on the bottom lid, and then it attaches at the temple on either side, and the strings go behind the head, and we apply heat treatment to the eyelids. This little device is able to heat the glands. I believe the hottest it gets is around 113 degrees Fahrenheit. It starts lower than that at about 106 and every 30 seconds or so gets hotter. Once it reaches its max temperature, it stays there and the whole treatment lasts about 15 minutes. Um, part of the study is getting some baseline information on their current OSDI score. OSDI score is the Ocular Surface Disease Index. It's a normative sort of um, scoring rubric or questionnaire that gives us a sense of how dry your eyes are at the first visit. I also examined something called the tear breakup time. Tear breakup time refers to when a person blinks and holds their eye open, how long does it take before the tears actually start breaking up? So that's exactly what tear breakup time is. I'm gonna show you an example here of a normal tear breakup time. You can see as the person blinks and holds open, those tears hold pretty steady. Versus another one, this is a person whose tears break up immediately. So you see that blink and the red spots just start breaking up. So we measure that tear breakup time as a baseline piece of information. On the day of the visit, you come in, we take that information down, um, we check your vision, just like a normal office visit, and then we get you set up with the tear care device. The patient waits for about 15 minutes. We usually say just relax, enjoy. We like to put some spa music on. And it is warm on your eyelids. You do feel that immediately, but it just, um, it shouldn't be uncomfortable. After 15 minutes, the device lets us know when it's done. And at that point, we remove the electrodes and within about five minutes or so, your doctor is going to um, use a piece of equipment, this little expressor tool. And we actually use this to express the glands. So what's kind of cool about this is that once your glands are warmed up, that oil is much more responsive to coming out of the gland. So when I do compress the eyelids gently, I'm seeing a lot of oil come up out of those glands. And that's great because essentially we're clearing the gland. What's, what I really like as a doctor about this test is that I have control over how much expression I get out of the lids, meaning I can control the amount of pressure, and if I sort of have to t take a couple passes across the lids to get all of the oil out, I can certainly do that. Um, in the few patients I've done this on so far, I have actually done that. I've taken a couple passes at each of the lids just to make sure I get every, every ounce of bad oil out of there. After the procedure, you can kind of expect your eyes should feel fairly normal. We do numb the eyes for the procedure, so for about 20 minutes after, your eyes will feel a little bit funny. But afterwards, it should feel a whole lot better because now you've got cleared out glands. They may not feel as tender to the touch. Some people feel glands are tender to the touch when they're full. Um, but it also should help with dry eye symptoms. I am really excited to have this piece of equipment here. I'm really excited to see what kind of data we get over the next three months. We'll be monitoring our patients at, of 
course the initial evaluation and treatment session, but then also at one month and three months after the treatment is done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the footage we have. This is something I wanna thank Sight Sciences for thinking of us and allowing us to be one of the first sites in the country to test their device. Um, so far, I'm really excited about it and I think it's been giving good results to our patients. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.